all, why did you click on this video? Because you are not a loser. People are simply liars. Okay, let me explain this to you. When I was about nine or 10 years old, me and my family, we went to a wine tasting vineyard vacation. And this was and my two older brothers. They were maybe 11 and 13, but obviously they didn't drink, but my parents did. After wine tasting all day, we went to a restaurant and me and my mother went to the restroom to do our business before the meal came. And so when I came out of the restroom, I saw my mother lying on the floor, the cold, hard, dirty floor of the restroom right in front of the sinks. And I did think that was quite odd. So I asked my mom, hey mom, are you okay? And she said, oh no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. Please just go, I'm fine, I'm okay. Don't worry about me. So then instantly I thought, oh, okay, so my mom must be fine. So I went ahead, washed my hands, went out the restroom, and then I sat down at the table that me and my family were at. Just to let you know, there was no other family in this restaurant, so nobody was going in and out of the women's restroom. My dad then asked me, where's your mom? And I said, oh, she's just still in the restroom. I neglected to mention that she was on the floor because I thought that was not relevant. Now. Two minutes go by, five minutes go by, 10 minutes go by, and my father thought, okay, this is really weird. Why is she still in the restroom? So he decided to walk past it. He knocked on the door, and I guess he opened it, and then he saw my mother lying there on the bathroom floor. And turns out she was a little bit drunk, a little bit tipsy from wine tasting all day. And so she had to be carried out of the restroom. Now, what I remember, the reason why I remember this moment is because I was so angry that I got in trouble for that whole entire scenario because I didn't inform my father that she was lying there on the floor. And I was angry because my mom lied. My mom lied to me. She said she was fine. She was okay. And to not worry about it. So what did I do? I thought she was fine. I thought she was okay. And then I literally did not worry about it. So why would I mention it if I'm not worried about it, <laughs> right? There's, it's just, oh, okay, she's fine. She's, I shouldn't be worried about it. And therefore I just took, took it for what it was. And then uh, I got in trouble for it. So I, <laughs> and this was not the first time this has happened throughout the course of my life is that I would get in trouble for other people lying to me or for me not lying. I would get in trouble for not lying. And so that, that really broke my paradigm even onto my early twenties, which I thought, I thought lying was bad. I thought, you know, when we're about two, three, four, five, we're taught to be honest, to be truthful, right? To not lie. That's the message that we get yet in society, in real life, it's socially acceptable and actually uh, encouraged to lie. We call some of these white lies, for example. And so I would be that friend in high school that if somebody asked me, hey, do I look fat in this? And I thought that they did, I would say, yeah, you look fat in that. And <laughs> I would just be that person. Now, consequently, uh, <laughs> only very secure, confident, and it happens to be at the time because we were teenagers, beautiful people could be friends with me because they could tolerate and just thought that I was funny, right? But then when I would be that way with other people who might have had insecurities or were bullied in some type of way, they would think that I was mean. So I was very separated into this world of people thinking that I was hilarious or people thinking that I was the meanest person on earth. When in truth, I just thought I was doing what you're supposed to do is just be honest and truthful. But that being said, <laughs> as I grew older, <laughs> there was this thing called omitting right and there is lying by omission lying by omission is socially acceptable it's actually very encouraged the whole saying of if you don't have something nice to say don't say anything that's where that comes from it's saying please lie by omission meaning don't say anything and in that way you're lying but it is socially acceptable and it's seen as something kind now, I'm not saying this to tell you that you should go out there and lie to the world. You do whatever 
you need to do in order to uphold your values in life. So if your value is I want to be truth truthful and transparent no matter what, then there, there it is. And then there are going to be social consequences for that, but then you live your values, right? So, and whatever level there's, it's not black and white necessarily. There's different levels to that. That being said, what I'm more interested in is the fact that other people therefore lies and it's socially acceptable for them to lie. So what does that mean for you? And, and for me is that I never take what people say as the truth anymore. I look at what their actions are, how they even say their tonality, the body language in which they say it. There's, if you know how to detect um, when somebody lies to you, which isn't just one thing that you notice, you have to notice three to six red flags all sequentially, and you have to know what their base is, and there's a whole science behind that. But that being said, you need to understand that people do lie to you and they don't feel any type of guilt around it. They think that they are doing the right thing because it is socially acceptable and the degree to acceptable acceptance is different in every country, but it is acceptable practically almost everywhere and just different degrees different degrees in different contexts, right? So it's just about knowing that, okay, in this context, what is normal and don't take anything for what they say as the truth. You have to filter it through your own matrix and decoding ability. And that's something I personally struggled with throughout my whole life. I still do sometimes. That's why it's hard for me to, for me to catch when people are very, What's that? So when people are very sarcastic, it's normal sarcasm, sure. But when people are overtly sarcastic, I assume that they're just dumb. <laughs> Oftentimes, that's the assumption that I make um, because they would say something that's dumb, but it was it's supposed to be obvious that it's dumb. So you laugh at it and then I respond as if they are actually dumb. And so and of course, being dumb or not, it's just a perception and how you view things, right? But that being said, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I'll get in trouble and I still do till this day, but then most people who are secure and confident, they laugh it off and it's not a big deal. I run into trouble more so when somebody isn't the most secure or isn't the most confident person in the world. And so if I respond, in a way that is not necessarily socially acceptable and it requires me to tell some sort of lie, it oftentimes doesn't come across well. So I've already accepted the consequences of that, that that's just gonna happen naturally in life. And I'm slightly okay with it simply because I, I've done my work of, you know, I, I now pick and choose. Hey, do I want to say anything? Most of the times I'll just not say certain things because I don't like outright lying. That's not my jam at all, so sorry. I like to tell the truth. I like to be transparent. Uh, but I also recognize that sometimes you don't. You can keep your opinions to yourself. So oftentimes I'll say, you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll plead the fifth and then let that be that. And if, if they want to press on, then <laughs> I'm going to tell the truth <laughs> and, and that's on them. But, um, but if you were ever told that you are a loser, it might be that they are lying to you because people lie. And maybe what they're really saying is that they secretly love you and want to hang out with you, which is often sometimes the case, um, or that they're extremely jealous of you because they you have something that they feel insecure about. So that's also often the case. So you just never want to take forward exactly what other people say about you. If you are the type of person who gets down on other people's words, um, if they're negative, especially on social media, if you're on Twitter, I'm not on Twitter as of now, but if you are on Twitter, you might have had little quarrels. And so that might happen, that might happen. And if that happens, just know that people lie. 
So there it is. So I'm just giving you the truth of the world, which is that people lie and it is socially acceptable to lie. So people are just used to lying. So never take uh, just the face value of what people say all the time. Really analyze where they're coming from, what the context is. Uh, it's hard to tell tonality if it's online, if it's an online interaction, but just take everything with a grain of salt because we are in a society in which they value lying over the truth. And so sad as it may be, that's what it is. All right, can't wait to see you on the next video. This was a little bit of a different format. I just wanted to do a straight shoot because I'm just not, I, I'm really busy with everything else. So this was the best format that I can do. And I might do some podcast type format. So this kind of video podcast, let me know if you like these rants and if you want something specific answered. I will see you on the next video.